YouTube family. It's time for Friday Curls and Scoop with the queen of media. <laughs> Come on, let up. This woman, she because she will not sing her own praises like this, so she's going to get into it. But y'all know I'm a gas, put more gas on it. Let's go, Jackson. Let them know what, to, what yesterday was. <laughs> I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Toya's here. Get the hug. Come on. I'm posting a lot of stuff. I'm still doing stuff, but, mm -hmm. but I had to get my work done. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I made history in Philadelphia as the first woman inducted into the Philadelphia Music Alliance Radio Walk Fame. The first woman. This organization's been around since the 80s. I'm the first woman in radio mm -hmm. to get inducted. Come on! It was an amazing day. And I said, you want to take in the moment. Every piece. Every single piece. And it was great. Piece. It was great, y'all. It was. When I was tell y'all she is Miss Philadelphia, <laughs> let me, because she ain't going to, Kevin Bacon was getting honored. Him and his brother. The applause went to this one. <laughs> but Kevin got his. But how Philadelphia turned out for you, Patty, may you never question what you mean to this city and just media overall. Considering this YouTube presence, you done came to YouTube and made your mark. How many years in this radio industry you been in? 41. Good moisturizer. Come on now, where they do that at? What, you ever been let go? Never. I've Where got, does I've, happen? I've got no closest nerves, though. It happens, though. We all do. To make them want to say, <laughs> I gotta go. But we all don't. Well, you don't know. You guys don't really know how this business goes. This is unheard of to have a career as, as illustrious as Patty Jackson. We are forever proud of you. Thank you. And just what you mean to the culture. I got that Michael Jordan energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both 60. We just have a different mindset. Yes! <laughs> it's a different mindset when you're born in 1963. Aww. You're born in the 60s. You just think just a little different. Mm -hmm. But I, I call it the Michael Jordan energy. I love it. But I love it. And it that's was, what it we going to hype it for you. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. I thank everyone. Philadelphia Music Alliance, those who came out, if you saw the pictures, if Woo. you commented, on social media, it was amazing. There is a bronze marker at Broad mm -hmm. and Pine in yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. right in front of the University of the Arts. There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm there. Ugh. Me and Martin Lawrence had good days. You sure did. Because Martin Lawrence got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame yeah. in Hollywood. And it was good. It was and you see, I'm, I'm still beaming. Still beaming. I'm extremely sleepy. <laughs> But I'm, but I'm still being. But you here, friend. You here. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> um, Martin Lawrence got on it yesterday. Yes. Steve Martin was on hand. Steve Harvey was on mm -hmm. hand. You had the cast from Martin. Mm -hmm. You had Tracy Morgan. They came out to show Martin Lawrence love. Beautiful. And he looks amazing. He He's currently filming Bad Boys 4. I think a lot of people were expecting Will Smith to show up, but uh -uh, he's a nope. Keeping it quiet. Keeping it quiet. Mm -hmm. Martin, go get your shine. Yes. But he got a star. Um, let's start from the top. Okay. So I didn't watch any news yesterday because it was so busy. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the Alan Baldwin, all Shut criminal up. charges have been dropped. I said, How, Sway? How? All criminal charges. Um, he accidentally shot a cinematographer. And then he went on to say, well, I didn't do it. And we're like, but you're the gun. But you had it in your hands, sir. Everything's going to fall on the person who, the props. Because mm -hmm. you, right, you are saying how the real gun get in it. Mm -hmm. Now, that is a big question. But no charges against Alec Baldwin. Who did pay? Who did pay? What about? Millions to the family hmm. in a wrongful death suit. Hmm. Millions went out. Yup, million twenty-eight. Yup. Okay. Hmm. Something I don't know. Something. Something. You and Hilaria. Yeah. Mm. Enjoy your lives. Tonight, Tupac on FX. It's a five-part docu series on the story and the relationship between him and his mom, Afeni. 
Mm -hmm. um, it was controversial. It was interesting, him being born in prison, mm -hmm. then wind up going to jail. She's a Black Panther. She's trying to survive. She had drug addiction. It it, it looks interesting. Yeah. A five-part series. If you don't catch it on the FX channel, streams on Hulu the next day. <laughs> now, speaking of the X, FX channel, and I forgot to talk about this on Wednesday, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Snowfall. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. It ended. The show ended. I love the acting mm -hmm. of Damson Idris. The first season was a little rough. I it said, was. I, said, I don't think I'm coming back. Ooh, I was Ooh. with you, Patty. But after talking to the late John Singleton, I came back. Mm. Damson was in our studios, but he was a young kid. I didn't pay attention to him because I was sitting there talking to John. Uh-huh. Right? And it's amazing how his character went from just being this kid to becoming the king of an empire Ooh. and the way the series ended. Mm. It was like, and the moral of the story is, mm -hmm. don't be getting high on your supply. Come on, on your own supply, don't do yep. it. Biggie talked about it. Oh, um, uh, um, the New Jack, New Jack City. City. The ending. So I'm supposed to be going to bed early to get ready for a Thursday, right? I was. It was like when Stringer Bell, it just was died yes. in the wire. Mm -hmm. I just sat there like this. A child. It was. That's all I saw blowing up on yeah, social I just, media. I just. I just. I. I just. It's a moral of a story. Yep. But I was shocked. I mean, everything is not going to have a great ending. No. But he played that character. Franklin Saint will go down in history. And it's weird. It, I love it when they make a character who should be a villain, but yeah. now you want them to win. You want them to win. And that was his character. Yeah. And to see it end like that, but like you said, Patty, that's the moral of the drug game. Ooh. Dead or a walking zombie. He is such an incredible actor. A lot of people don't even know this dude is British. Hello. That accent, come on. That he he played that role. Yes, he did. <laughs> the scenes who cuts out the whole family. Yeah, and... child. I love it. I'm gonna have to go back. And um, I was one of the people who stopped <laughs> at season one because it was hard. But I said, now that Se it's over, I'm gonna go back and finish. season one was hard. I was, was like, what's going on? I here? was like, now what is this? I, my eyes. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't yes. unsee it. <laughs> yeah, but we but we came back. Yes, and it was good. Mm -hmm. And Damson, really good. He's off to do a movie with Brad Pitt. I love this. Yeah, about him. race car driving. So okay. this is good. And you know, when Jonathan and trouble, they're looking for maybe Damson to join the Marvel Universe. Take the check. Now, speaking of Jonathan, they say that more women. We don't know who these women are because mm. it seems like a bunch of pile on. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. um, but they say more women. Have come forward. Oh Lord! Well, I guess we'll, we'll Patty will keep y'all posted. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Jackson has started her latest tour. Okay, it's a thirty-three city tour. Mm -hmm. her Fiftieth anniversary in show business. Mm -hmm. She looks amazing, but a lot of fans are disappointed. What they saying? What? Aretha Franklin used to say, "Nice gowns, Be real, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns, beautiful." Mm -hmm. They're saying beautiful, pretty face. Pretty, <laughs> pretty face, beautiful gowns. You know what it is? And it, it it's the lip singing. Cause Sissy told y'all back on that documentary that she can't sing. She that looks amazing. Sissy. All right, I personally, all I want to hear is the Control album, uh -huh. the Rhythm Nation Hits. album, and the Janet. Out of that, I want to hear no songs. And y'all. And y'all know what y'all there for. Y'all gonna get them good Janet moves, the style, the fashions. The fashion. She comes out in this cape. Amazing. But a lot of people, that it's the lip singing. They're complaining. Now y'all know what y'all. Yeah. Enjoy the show. How is Jamie Foxx doing? The 55-year-old Oscar winner is alert and awake, but they're Aww. still running tests. Okay. He had a stroke and they had to go in his head. You know, yeah, it'll, be a like, it'll be a little bit because mm -hmm. they're going to take him from the hospital to a rehab center. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. Kelly and Mark, it's supposed to be a live show, right? Mm -hmm. This show has gotten horrible criticism on we. Oh. The <laughs> non chemistry between the couple. Now they're saying that they only work three days a week. 
Oh! Yeah, get a spot up to somebody who want to be there five days. <laughs> Y'all, they only work. Well, they mostly shows. They tape on Friday. Mm -hmm. With the exception of The View. Yes. The, Whoopi just doesn't work on Fridays. Mm -hmm. But the other ladies have to be there. Whoopi said, now, I ain't coming on Fridays. I'll come. Now, speaking of Whoopi, two former co-hosts mm -hmm. are out here talking trash. What they saying, Patty? Well, let's tell you who they are. Rosie O'Donnell and Megan McCain. Well, y'all haters. <laughs> Make no mistake. This is Whoopi's show. Yes. Whoopi is in charge. Mm -hmm. She's in charge, George. Absolutely. Whoopi is in charge. That's Karen's show. That's Karen's show. She's so mad that Karen is the thing. Because her real is. name is Karen. Uh -huh. Karen Johnson. Because y'all be making Karen J KJ show up. Because y'all yep. be getting on her nerves. Yup. Just that menopause. She get the sand. You know, she just, she just has a look when she's aggravated. <laughs> she does. And I don't know if it's a flash because I know who I am. That flash hits you or what yep. happened, Patty? Child, I get to... The slightest thing. I know. Are you know. ready? Yup, you ready? Cause you start. You're hot. Uh huh. They <laughs> said that she would bury stories cause of things she didn't want to talk about. What, what, what kind of things? <laughs> the gossipy. You talk about your friends. <laughs> yup, she didn't want to talk about it. So she she wouldn't. She said, "Y'all go talk about it. Yep. I'm just gonna be quiet. That's my plan." <laughs> we carrying along. Somewhat, stop making her snap. Yeah, but they've been out here talking about her. Two Oscar winners are joining forces: Angelina right. Jolie and Halle Bailey. Halle Berry. But, well, Halle Bailey is about know. to have Little Mermaid. So. I know. <laughs> Halle Berry yeah. for an action thriller. Usher is about to become a doctor. Well, Usher. Usher and the legendary singer Roberta Flack okay. are getting honorary doctorate degrees okay. from the Berkeley College of Music. Wow. So do we call him Dr. Ursher? Dr. Ursher? Ursher? What did you yeah, what did you <laughs> um, uh, Michael Irving, former <sighs> Dallas Cowboy NFL announcer, mm -hmm. is doing a Super Bowl run. NFL mm -hmm. Network took him off. Took him off. Child. Took him off. Because some woman lied. Mm -hmm. And said that he said something to me, so they immediately took him off the air. Mm. Do you know the um, draft, the NFL draft is next week? He still ain't back on. They are still not the NFL Network is still not letting Michael Irving on. This is personal at this point. It is, and and you should sue. Absolutely, because I mean they released the video. I mean we could not hear the audio. By, but the story of what this woman told, yeah. it did not match the visuals it in any way, shape, or it form. It didn't. You took her word? Mm-hmm. I yep. mean, he's got a past. Thank you. But. And this, mm -hmm. this was not this the case. This was it. But they're still not letting him on. Mm -hmm. Michael Irving, you should sue. Yes, you should. And get ready for Good Burger 2. It's been 25 years. Mm -hmm. And both Keenan and Cal, they're 44. Well, oh, come on. It's and it's going to be airing on Paramount Plus, I believe, in December. Okay. This is a weekend edition, so make sure you check it out. It's mm -hmm. loaded with juicy, juicy, juicy good stories. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys for the love. I got so much. The the um, our WDAS Instagram, yep. our WDAS Patty Instagram, where mm -hmm. I'm going to be just sharing just a lot of. Mm -hmm stuff but it was amazing i was in good company yes. bacon brothers and leslie odom jr yes. he's returning to broadway and pearly victoria's he's got a new children's book out with his wife oh, just nice. came out this week the group the times they did the 60s doo-wop classic mm -hmm. so much in love there was a fellow radio guy john Debella. Mm -hmm. yeah it was a lot a special tribute Kenny Gamble, Leon Huff, Tom Bell. Beautiful, but that yep. I'll tell y'all again, the way the city showed out for our girl. <laughs> I would just wait till y'all gonna catch all the recaps. The way they showed out and was loud. I and appreciate let us I'm appreciative. Know. Wait, they were loud like loud. I am. Loud. <laughs> showed up for her. I once dated the guy who said, You laugh. Well, they said, Your Well, the city family loud. loud. <laughs> and this is the time. Well, the baby is loud too. <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> 
Well, you better get used to being loud, sir. If not yes. carry your mind on. Yeah, yeah. And that's we love you. Oh, we thank love you. you so much. And just it was an honor to just be on site to watch you get your flowers in that way. Thank just you. Beautiful. Love you. Well, I'm back to work today, doggone it. I'm <laughs> sleepy. I think I get some sleep. Yeah, you gonna get it. You rest up this weekend, girl. Yes. We love you. Have a great weekend. Love <laughs> you too, Toya. Thank you so much. It's not cute not knowing and now you're gonna know. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. Yeah. Watch out for that weekend edition. This is Chocolate Divinity, or Chocolate yeah. Divinity. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Mm -hmm.